What's up? Doing about Swings and Jaylee here with uh, guilds. We're going to talk about guilds. Uh, we're not going to talk about raids specifically because raids is its own thing. But here are guilds. This is my guild. Say hi. Uh, simple stuff. What are guilds? Guilds are 25 people who work together to get additional rewards. Uh, um, like more games in this genre than others, guilds are a benefit, not a burden. Uh, some games, uh, your guild is a burden as a, a responsibility. In this game, uh, when you join a guild, you work with 24 other people to fundamentally grow in one way, not in all ways. And what does that mean? It's very simple. Uh, your basics of your guild consists of three things. One, spending energy every day. Specifically, spending 800 energy every day because that will give you raid keys. And raid keys will be used to access raids. Again, we'll do that in another video, but you want to be doing raids. Uh, the next thing that's kind of relevant between your guild are guild quests. So every day you have to give a certain amount of raid energy. We already talked about that. But every day you have a series of quests. For example, today, take part in arena battles. Now, obviously, uh, we as a guild can do, every player can do five arena battles a day. Whether they win or lose, they can do five every day. So moving to uh, the next, you can notice, they're like, hey, just do your five a day. And this gives a handful of bonus rewards, as you can kind of track. Peeve is currently uh, in first place and getting the most rewards. You can kind of see how many rewards everyone's getting. Here I am down in the bottom sadness because I used all of my arena attacks before the reset happened. But the game's going to reset. I have 17 hours left before that, and I will get more raid attacks. Things kind of line up poorly. It doesn't matter. After 17 hours, we're going to move guild to Guild of Saviors, which... Uh, very similar thing everyone can do. Uh, in general, you want to complete as much of these as possible because they give everybody more rewards. And they give everybody more rewards, uh, whether you're higher or lower. So if the, you ever end up with the arena one or the tournament one or the energy one, whatever you end up with, just do the best you can, even if you can't win the fight necessarily, because you're still going to end up with these guild credits. Uh, which can be used in the guild store. Uh, this is the two primary aspects of what you have to do in a guild. Uh, you can't, like some games have, you can't necessarily um, uh, trade pieces of gear with members of your guild yet. That's something that might interest them in the future if I talk to them and convince them that it's okay. Um, but Another thing that's incredibly relevant is if you track, you'll see here's a whole bunch of 40s, 40s, 50s, 80, 80, 50, 60, 58, 58, 36, 26. But Tony, none of these guys are the same power. Doesn't that hold your guild back? No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. As a matter of fact, it sort of helps everybody in the very star wars galaxy of heroes kind of way the guild's main purpose is to work together to accrue resources uh as well as the raids and again we're going to go into very big detail about raids soon but in general uh depending on what raids you're doing up to and including the heroic raids sometimes uh People can solo it, or some of the strongest people can beat it. For example, we're doing a raid dot four, which is way higher than anyone level 26 uh, to 30 is going to do. Actually, for the most part, level 50 characters aren't going to have too much of a great time with it anyway. But a level 80 character, a level 70 character player would probably crush most of these nodes, especially because they've had enough time to build out different teams. So... The major thing behind these is since so few people are necessary in order to beat the raids, um, as long as you have members of your guild capable of 
and you can see read my chat it's what we're talking about now capable of entering the raid not just registering but entering so for example as long as everyone in my guild has at least one hero with a six star at least one in as long as the strongest people in my guild could beat it everybody's getting better rewards than if we worked as a team than if we all came up at the same level so it's this kind of cool thing where the strongest players can guarantee themselves the best rewards for their effort uh, because they're going to be top one to four depending on how many are in the team uh, of the reward scale but everybody else is getting infinitely better rewards than they would have otherwise these are called carry guilds now obviously in the end game you're gonna have a whole bunch of guilds full of strong people punching this stuff but if you notice the last three all cost the same amount you know what i mean these are all forty thousand. so once you get to the point where you can clear one two three you get slightly more rewards so yes it's more beneficial but as a newer player Getting in a guild like this, you tend to find a couple of players who are more than happy to accept a decent uh, amount of rewards for significantly less effort. And the only effort you have to have is, of course, spend your energy to give everybody raid keys every day. That's pretty much everything. So as far as guilds are concerned, those are the two major reasons to jump in and uh, experience it. But I will do one last thing in this video. I will discuss the shop so the guild shop all those things we're talking about complete your guild quests completing raids all of these generate emeralds and they all you know, sapphires and emeralds and they all have different words and who cares like basically guild currency right uh guild currency is among the most useful currency in the game very similar to tournament currency because there's a decent pool of characters you can pick from that is randomized uh gear fragments that i mean let's be clear and that's pretty reasonable uh for some reason a recipe for krill for boots uh <laughs> completed items as opposed to just fragments um it's not unreasonable so you can in the early game you can maybe buy some rogue gloves that some of these characters can use especially to build it up but you as you're getting more and more resources because you're completing more raids or harder raids or you're doing better in raids and you're completing more and more of the missions or you're doing higher up in the guild quests every 24 hours you will be able to obtain not only more character shards but more resources and even when you're done with the characters you now have a way to constantly get more resources in the end game so that's the basics of guilds again we're going to go into a very specific video about the raids themselves uh as of right now i can honestly tell you my experience with raids uh, is I go in and I'm either stronger than it or I don't have the depth of roster or the right kind of teams, but I'll give you a tiny little hint about raids right now. Every single one of those tiny little bosses you're going to come across has a secret way to beat them. Except Mega Wheel, you just slap them in the face. But uh, some teams are beneficial and some teams aren't. A lot of it comes down to turn meter manipulation, which is something that we will get into in a great detail in more, in more advanced videos. But this kind of brings the uh, beginning basic series to an end. Everything we talk about after this is going to be a bit more detailed, a bit more attentive, a bit more, okay, so you've gotten past the first big hurdles of the game and you understand it. What are we going to do now? And I appreciate you guys watching up to this point and, uh, you know, comment below and let me know how interested you are in me continuing this series, going into things like artifacts, like runes, like details of guild raids, and more importantly, things like which characters to work on, why are they better, tier lists are trash, whatever you want to go into, let me know below and I'll produce more content for it. A lot of what I wanted to do was get this information out there so anyone who comes in, logs into the game and goes, hey, gee, I already used Tony's promo code. All caps or not, shouldn't make too much of a difference. Uh, you got your resources, but now you want to know how to play the game and I'm not streaming when you start playing. How do I do it? That's what these videos are for. As we go on, I'd love to release more and more content. I just want to make sure it's what you guys want. So have a good night. Have a great day. Enjoy yourselves. I've been Tony Scangeli, and I will catch you later.